Hello and welcome to another edition of ESO with Ninja Monkey. Today we're uh, adding to our house tours. This will be an updated video for my, what I consider my personal home in the game, Strident Springs Demizen. Uh, if you don't know where that is, it's in the north of Reaper's March, like Raw Calls down here. It's way, way to the north. That is an AD section. Um, yeah, this is a imperial home. Just get into this. So 600 slots. I am always full in this house. I got to take things out and put things in as new things come out. Um, and this is going to be the update for Dragon Bones because I've gotten a bunch of the things from the uh, Dragon Bone stuff that I wanted to get in the house. In the house, we'll go over that a little bit later. But that 600 slot home with ESO plus eight special furnishings, 40 collectible furnishings. Eight special collectibles and holds 12 people. Yeah, let's let's run around a little bit. Right off the bat, we've got the uh, Morrowind Fountain achievement furnishing. Kind of nice. You can get up in here, run around in the water. Some uh, blue luxury furniture, wedding flowers, and a Clovian crystal on the inside. Taking a look off to the right here, we've got the uh, Sky Shards from the Sky Shard Achievement. Those are found at the World Vendor, a nice Khajiit bungalow here, which I occasionally use to show off luxury furniture items. I like to move around uh, the area. we got a little jail here for people who need to be in timeout, which occasionally happens. <laughs> a little Khajiit carriage here for, you know, a little spice. And then I uh, set up this uh, kind of middle america kind of walkway down here really like how this turned out with uh vivic looking on there let's take a look upstairs in the watchtower done just a small master bedroom up here did not have room to put a pet on the bed i'm a little little sad about that but just a, a carpet and a couple places to look out onto the town and into the house. Uh, curtains, in case it gets really drafty or something like that, and some Argonian lanterns, because I really like the uh, the lighting they give. Back down to the courtyard. We'll sprint across to the other side. Just the walkway up to the main house. Got some cool crystals going up the waterfall, which put a nice shine onto the water. Some wedding lanterns floating on the water. If you look carefully, you can see some fish under the dock there. A little starfish on the pillar. And the Velos Reliquy uh, being a, a small amount of uh, treasure or loot on the bottom. I've also got some uh, Dwemer pipes for my RP in the house. Feeding water to my forge in the back. And we'll, we'll get to that a little bit later. Uh, nice hammock set up with a couple Argonian lights, and then we've got some magical candles lighting up our jester trees that drop petals for us. Clovian crystals all throughout the wall over on this side. This is my trophy and target skeleton area. I've set up uh, all the normal trophies and all the vet trophies that I have that I can fit in this space. And then I've cleared out just enough of them so that when I do get all the housing storage trunks, I can fit them in this house going up the main walkway here and we're not going to go in the house just yet we're going to go around the outside first we come up to this uh, dark anchor pinion that's being held in by this uh, uh, grouping of trees nature has risen up to help fight Molag Ball with some wedding lanterns in the tree and eventually the idea is that the tree will just swallow this thing whole and contain it sort of like in Fern Gully if you ever saw that it's a pretty neat kids movie. A couple of statues on either side. And then I've got my little uh, gardener up there. Which if you've seen any of my other Strident Springs videos, he hasn't moved. But uh, he's supposed to be keeping the ivy uh, in check and he is not succeeding too well. Poor little guy. A couple of uh, the Dwemer Braziers. Again, a Morrowind achievement furnishing. I think they're 50k. I forget what these ones are called but I'm pretty sure you get them up in East March. 
that might be right and uh, they're illuminated with some dream shards and putting the dream shards in here really like makes the runes pop gives gives all these little edges some coloring which was what the idea was a uh, little little meeting area back here used to have some benches but they had to make way for some other items uh, monument to her scene because uh, a couple of my characters are werewolves so why not I love making these little portals with the uh, Colovian crystals with uh, the jester trees hugging the archway here and then this monstrosity is my crafting hub so I got all the crafting stations around here including the new outfit station and the RP behind this is this side is the input you can see it's pumping in unison and then it pumps the water through the forge which is heated up to do blacksmithing and cooking and whatnot through these pipes that you might be able to see on the inside here out to the house to provide hot water and electricity because there is some electricity going on in this house from the uh, Dwemer stuff which is kind of neat banker and merchant over here by all the the crafting stuff just in case you need to uh, get a hold of some of your stuff and then this uh, big tent that's over the whole thing came out with Clockwork City. I think it's 1,300 crowns in uh, in the housing crown store. I'm pretty sure that structure tent. Yeah, there it is. 1,300 crowns. Cool little structure. Uh, one other thing that I wanted to show off is uh, this house is still broken. And by broken, I mean the little lip here isn't sealed, so this is a, a little bit of Sherigorath trickery, but you can get inside the house currently. Zoss will fix this soon, I'm sure of it, but it's fun to uh, get in here and get a better look at some of the housing stuff and structures just outside of here. And then on the bright side, the uh, doors here actually lead inside, so we'll use the front door to go inside. We have our guar tender just on the right, so you can drop your keys and pick up a drink and go sit down and play a game over here, because we got the, the new uh, game board that came out with Dragon Bones, which is really nice. Sigil stand lighting things up with some of these Telvani lamps. Uh, four of them are actually turned off, because I didn't need that much light in here, and they look pretty cool turned off anyways, so... I mean, geez, I might even just be able to just leave them all off. They look pretty neat like that, I think. Neat little, uh, neat little picture on the wall there. I like to not just put things on the wall, I like to put interesting things on the wall, things that I think are, are neat. Uh, for example, I really like the pheasants and the deer and the rabbits. We got a bunch of stuff going on here. This is the fruit and veggie side with uh, the shivering trees for both lighting and, uh, well, cheese. Some hanging geese, fish. This is a little meat prep area. Always keep your meat and your vegetables separate when prepping. And uh, we have one of the crabs upside down here cooking in the fire pit. And this uh, little stove area was kind of a labor of love. I really like the way that turned out. Some storage going on over here. Books and stuff. Or not books, but packages. Some vegetables and some fish drying out. I am primarily DC, so I've got the DC shield here and a couple of a couple of statues. Here we've got the uh, grand service going on for six. Uh, another guar tender here. I'm pretty sure the kebabs are for us, and this fish is already cooked. So I'm pretty sure that fish right there is for the guar tender. And uh, don't don't try and take that from them. Um, <laughs> they'll get antsy. Um, after dinner, there's a nice little place to sit down and a what I would think would be like a projection TV because this light here is actually lighting up the screen a couple of skooma bubblers some mangoes and uh, did you see a monkey on the table I hope not because there is no monkey on the table Bwahahaha. whatever <laughs> Dwemer schematics yeah nice 
uh, map of Morrowind. I wish it was bigger, or not Morrowind, uh, Tamriel. I wish it was bigger. And uh, right now, a little disappointing, but it only shows highlighted the uh, three factions and Craglorn, which is uh, what uh, was available when housing came out. So a little blast from the past, I guess, because now we, now we have Morrowind and a couple of these other little places here. Um, oh, and a visitor. Hello, visitor. Lola Copter. We've got uh, the Craglorn Tapestry here. And uh, here's here's where a lot of the Dragonbone stuff is. Um, the Telvani device is not one of those, but the Halalyu Gong is the uh, little turtle here, the little trinket box. Uh, the only thing I could find to fit inside of it was these uh, dice, and I could only fit one. Um, if you think of something smaller, throw it down in the comments below. I'd be happy to know. But yeah, little little fidget spinners and gongs and you know office toys next to my my little office and then of course this little house terrarium which is kind of neat we've got uh alien apparatus which i don't i don't know i think it looks pretty decent there but there was a, a better place i might have been able to put it oh uh, we've got the library in here and this was a, a proof of concept for one of my other houses but i really like this as a chandelier the little lights uh playing because i've got two different color lights in here uh, the Clovian Crystal and the Dream Shard, the Dream Shard being like the teal kind of color playing off the mosaic in this looks really good to me. And then uh, I've got one of those uh, Hagfen uh, smokes going on. A little Netic Egg, and then uh, to get to my uh, storage chest, you've got to kind of cheat, which is good because only me and one other person have editor rights in this place little walk through here we got the dark brotherhood uh, stained glass window in the wall some neat lights and stuff and then this is where the magic happens lots of red lights and stuff and I really like these uh, handles here and f by handles I mean they're actually keys from Clockwork City achievement furnishing vendor and they are the uh, Nocturna keys but it makes a, a cool little uh, spout here with uh, handles Got the uh, Lanterns of Anguish. There's a luxury furniture version of these. These are achievement furnishings available from the World Vendor, but the luxury furniture version looks exactly the same, except it's on fire and it's really, really bright. Little place to sit down and uh, collect yourself in the morning and put your face on, if you will. And then, yeah. I wonder if I can see it. Totem of the Sixth House is what's doing these red lines on the floor. And there's a slight noise to it that you may not be able to hear. Alright, so that's the uh, tour of my Strident Springs. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, like the video so other people can tell whether or not this is a video worth watching. Uh, comment down below if you have any questions, comments. If you want to show off your house, I'd be more than happy to take a look. Currently, I'm only on PC and PS4, but I'd love to come by and show your stuff off. Um, and consider subscribing to my channel. There'll be more content like this coming out all the time. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.